Hey guys, we ran a poll on our Facebook asking you what you want to learn about and the number one thing that came back was cold outreach tactics. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on that today. All right, guys, so we're talking about cold outreach tactics. And for all my real estate agents out there, there's really three different strategies that I've seen successful in cold outreach in this business. The first is door knocking, second is cold calling, and the third is social media. And in this video series, I want to break down for you guys each strategy and give you the campaigns that you can run and also some best tips and practices that you can apply to the strategies to drive better ROI. And in this first video, I want to talk about the first strategy, which is door knocking. When it comes to door knocking, there's really four different campaigns that I believe you can run. The first is your geographic farm. So this is the neighborhood you're targeting, the zone you're targeting to be the dominating agent, the number one agent. You need to make sure you're door knocking your geographic farm at least once a month. The second campaign is just listed, just sold. So you just got a listing, make sure you're door knocking the 50 closest neighbors, even 100 if you can, of that listing. And what I love about this campaign is it gives you two touch points, when you list the home and when you sell the home, so you have another opportunity to come back around and turn a prospect into a client. The third campaign is your open house. So when you get the listing, you're obviously going to do an open house to help you sell that listing. So knock the doors of all the neighbors, invite them to a private neighborhood open house where they can get the first look, a sneak peek into this home. And then the fourth and final campaign is make sure you're door knocking FISBOs and expired listings. Kevin Ward, he's a great real estate coach out there. He calls these turbo homes. And what he suggests is start your door knocking with a turbo home. Go to an expired listing first, a FISBO first, because there's higher chance of closing. And then branch out for there to the five to 10 closest homes. So there are the four different campaigns you can use for door knocking. When it comes to the best practices and tips, the first tip I'll give you is set expectations. When you approach a home, the truth is that person is going to want to know who you are, what you want, why you're there, and quite frankly, when you're going to leave. And so you need to make sure you set expectations so they don't think you're just going to hang around forever. I've heard a great tip that says, tell them how long you're going to be. Tell them that, hey, I just have a minute, but I want it to stop by. Set the expectations to make them feel comfortable. Second tip is ask a lot of questions. You don't want to be intimidating and you want to get them talking. So you need to ask a lot of questions. Are they curious what their home's worth? Are they actually living in their dream home? Are they thinking about moving? Get them engaged. Third tip is always offer something of value when you're door knocking. This could be a market analysis. It could be a community events calendar. It could be American Lifestyle Magazine. Offer something of value that they'll remember you by. The next tip is dress for success. Guys, I don't care if it's blazing hot or it's freezing cold, make sure you dress for success. It's going to be bring professionalism to your attitude and to the business. Then the next tip I'll give you is set a start time and a stop time. It's critical when you go out door knocking, you're going to face rejection and you're going to get a lot of people who don't answer. So it's easy to get depressed. So you need to be committed. You need to start a start time and a stop time because if you don't do that, you're going to get out there, get discouraged and you're going to give up before you should. And then the last and final tip, which really is the most important, is it's about mindset and controlling your body language. You need to understand that the next home could be the home that changes your day, your week, your month, your year. And so guys, keep going when you face that rejection. And then your body language, when you approach someone and you're door knocking, don't intimidate them. Don't come up with your hands you know, crossed like this. Don't look them dead in the eyes to intimidate them. Be upbeat, smile, be energetic. That's going to help them engage with you and ultimately give you a chance to maybe earn them as a client. So there you have it guys, there is the overall strategy on door knocking, four different campaigns that you can run and some tips that you can apply to generate more ROI for your business. If you like these tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Of course, comment below. Let me know your you know, successes, your failures, what you've had success with. I want to share it with our audience. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram, but most importantly, take action on this today.